Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video was inspired by this article. And whilst this raised so many, many, many questions, I decided to focus on the more medical part of this, which is the presence of two vaginas. Now, as bizarre as this sound, it actually does exist and I have seen it. This is called a uterus idelphus and it's an abnormality that can occur during the formation of the reproductive organs as a baby. Well, before baby, as an embryo. <laughs> If you're still a bit confused as to how this happens, let me explain. The uterus and most of the reproductive system is formed from a pair of structures called the Mullerian ducts. Each Mullerian duct is responsible for forming one fallopian tube, one half of the uterine cavity, one half of the cervical canal, and one half of the upper part of the vagina. These two are supposed to fuse together and then the middle part will get reabsorbed, forming one uterine cavity, one cervical canal and one vaginal canal. If this fusion doesn't happen or happens to an incomplete degree, then you end up with a spectrum of abnormalities. So essentially you can end up with a variety of combinations. You can either have two uterine cavities with two cervical canals or two uterine cavities and one cervical canal. Also, in 75% of people who have this abnormality, there is also a vaginal septum. This is a cartilaginous septum which separates the vagina into two separate canals. So in addition to having two uteruses, uteruses? <laughs> in addition to having two uterine cavities and two cervical canals, you can then also have two vaginal canals separated by a septum, which is what this woman here is describing. In real life, what does this translate to? Basically, you have two of everything. If you're in a period, you have to have two tampons put in. If you are having more long-term form of contraceptive, you have to have two coils fitted because you can get pregnant in each cavity independent of the other. There are actually multiple case reports reporting the presence of twins in separate cavities. This one case report reported twins in each cavity delivered 24 hours apart, one by vaginal delivery and the other one by cesarean section. This other case report also reported the presence of twins in each cavity delivered 10 weeks apart. I mean, at this point, are they even twins or just siblings with really close birthdays? I don't know. I find it quite fascinating that you can get pregnant in each canal. On a more practical note though, when you're having your cervical screening checks, you should have them swab each cavity because you can get cancer in one cavity and not in the other. Most people never know they have this until they get pregnant or if they've been investigated for fertility problems and then get an ultrasound scan. Sometimes people complain about, for example, tampons not working because they they put the tampon in one canal and not in the other canal so they still keep having a period despite having the tampon inside. If things work as they should there's really no need for treatment. Like I say you can get pregnant and this doesn't affect most people's daily lives. However some people who do have the vaginal septum complain of problems with intercourse and in these cases the septum is then surgically removed. Right guys I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did kindly leave me a like below, give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you.